Professor Milk. Oh. Hello, class. In my last guide, I turned a semi skill shot based high skill cap ceiling champion into a right clicking warlord of the mid and top lane by using crit and some easy to follow rune page hacking. Well, surprise, I'm back with another assassin guide, but this time with Jax. I've crafted this guide in such a way to make him not only effective but easy to play for my bronze viewers to give you all the IP, LP, RP, and HIV you could possibly hold in your sickly, discolored, low elo hands. I'd like to take a moment to thank my sponsor, WowSoSellout.com. Even though they haven't helped me with my videos or promoted me at all, at least they're giving me money. And that's what YouTube's all about. Again, WowSoSellout.com. Thank you for joining me in Jax, from fighter to assassin. I'm Professor Milk, let's get started. More often than not, you'll see Jax played the wrong way, and Jax is already hard enough to play with a skill cap comparable to Fiddlesticks, Urgot, Cho'Gath, and Kog'Ma. Now, let's take a quick glance at his Wikipedia. As you can see here, his main role is fighter, but his secondary role is assassin. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't see tank anywhere, and that's how he's usually played. With this guide, I will show you how you can turn this decent fighter into an expert assassin. But before we get too far, let's go over his abilities. Q, Leap Strike. Very generic, simple, gets you from point A to point B. This B can be anything targetable, including wards, but it gets a little bit more interesting than that. For my first tip that people often don't know about Jax, is that while you're mid-jump to a ward, you become invincible, much like Vayne's ult, Undying Rage. It's very difficult to master, but once you do, you'll be using it over and over again while frolicking through ELO Heaven. W, Empower. Jax powers up his lamppost using WowSo Sellout brand batteries, giving it more damage to his next basic attack or leap strike. This spell is the reason you'll see Jax players usually build a Spellblade item, like Lichbane or Iceborne Gauntlet. E, Counter Strike. This is the second tool in Jax's kit to make him completely invincible for 2.5 seconds. After the pseudo stasis is over, you will stun everything around you for one second. R, Grandmaster's Might. The passive on this ability hands Jax a real weapon, dealing bonus magic damage to every third auto attack. When activated, it gives Jax 100 armor, plus 50% of his AD, and 100 magic resist, plus 50% of his AP. This is why you see Gunblade built by most Jax players. Jax's passive, Hypercharge. Each auto attack gives Jax more attack speed, starting at 5% and scaling to 30% per stack, or 30% at level 1 to 180% at level 16 with full stacks. This passive gives excellent synergy with Bork, Wit's End, Nasher's Tooth, Rage Blade, Barrier, Heart of Gold, Hydro Pump, and Sunfire Cape. Okay, so this is the part where I typically talk about the build. Well, I have a small confession to make. I solved about 83.334% of the Jax build, 5 of the 6 items, but I was having trouble with the final piece of the puzzle. Let me show you some of the more standard builds people enjoy losing with, then let's reveal my 5 piece wonder. We have the Classic. Split Pusher, Kalista Catcher, God Mode, and the Milk Build. Now as you can see, the 6 slot doesn't have an item in it. That's because while I was out in my workshop crafting this build, I ran into a slight issue with three possible solutions. Rage Blade, for when duels get spicy and you need that sudden lifesteal and spell vamp. The new Nasher's Tooth with 80 AP for sustained fighting where burst isn't enough. Or Zonia's because you have tiny, tiny little huevos and you need that third invulnerability in your kit to stay alive. To help me solve this problem, I went to the guys who know best. This is Wise Words from the Pros. Our first guest has been my student for many years. When I found out he was an incredible League of Legends player, I was super interested. To encourage his growth, I stopped calling him Darshan Upa Upa Hi. I stopped calling him Darshan. It was strange at first, but yes, I, even his professor, call him Zion Spartan. At $3 per question, we ask him. Professor Milk donated three bucks and said, I've been playing Jax, climbing the North American Sloki ladder, trying to find the best build. You got Lichbane, Ludens, Sorix, Rab, Void. Not sure about the six items. Either Rage Blade, Zonius, or Nasher's Tooth. Thoughts on build and six items? He responds, I honestly never tried AP Jax before. Depends on what you're doing. If you want to team fight Zonius for sure, it depends if you need sustain. If you if you don't need sustain, then I'd go uh, Nasher's Tooth. If you do, then I'd go Rage Blade. Honestly, I haven't built Rage Blade or Nasher's Tooth in so long. That is an interesting build, though. Very nice, respectable answer. He's really come a long way. He's maturing, understanding himself as a player, and his Luigi cosplay is one of the best I've ever seen. Our next guest is a man of many talents and many interesting looks. 
Playing against his Katarina mid lane will leave you scarred for life, but that doesn't mean he's a man of perfection, even if he looks the part. On an average day of solo queue with a standard Katarina pick every other game, it's very common for him to go through two to three keyboards per day, resulting in him having to stream more and more to help him recover from his incredibly high debt to various mechanical keyboard companies. Please welcome the man himself, Xiao Wei Xiao. At the same rate of $3 per question, we ask him. So the last four days, 20 nights crafting a Jax build in my Fury Crafting Laboratory. Lichbane, Luthien, Sorks, Ravadon's Void, but I can't pin down the 6th item. It's either Rageblade, Zhonya's, or Nash's too. He responds. That's an awful item build, but you should probably go Nash's because at least, and as a 6th item, you get CDR. Why don't you just go Deathcap? Wait, wait, you don't have Deathcap. That's terrible! Like, I guess it, should, it can just be Nash's. That's such a bad <laughs> It's probably not even like you could probably kill some people with that. I can see that. But Jesus, yeah, I think I think the CDR from the Nashes would be helpful. But Zanya's isn't bad either. I think Zanya, no, no, Zanya's or Nashes for sure. All right, Xiao Wei Xiao, no need to rage, no need to rage. We don't want you to break another keyboard. Compared to Zion Teacher's answer, you can tell he has a bit more experience, seeing the damage potential of Nasher's Tooth. But this was actually a test brought to you by the Riddle Master himself, Professor Milk. And the results? They both miserably failed. This was a small exam, if you will, to see whether or not these pros have critical thinking skills. The actual sixth item you need for this build is Hextech Gunblade. Now let me explain how this build works and the best tactics for using it. Let's go back to Jax's abilities. Leap Strike, Q, 60% AP scaling, 100% bonus AD scaling. W, Empower, 60% AP scaling. Counter Strike, E, Useless. Grandmaster's Might, R, 70% AP scaling every three autos. The Gunblade Active, 40% AP scaling. Lich Bane, 50% AP scaling. Luden's Echo, 100 damage base plus 10% AP scaling. You see, Jax has more AP scalings than Fizz or Nami. Once they're applied all at once, you'll easily do more damage than an AD carry or other squishy target has HP. But the trick is getting to the full build, or at least two to three full items. Let's quickly go over runes and masteries. For runes, I'm running AP quins, scaling AP blues, armor yellows, and hybrid pen reds because even though we're dealing mostly magic damage, your Q damage is physical. For masteries, we're looking at 2109 with spell weaving, blade weaving, and a side of biscuits. Okay, the game starts. What do we buy? I'd stick with three potions and your everlasting Wow So Sellout brand battery pack that'll get you through the early to mid game. I can't emphasize enough, early game is very hard, especially when you're laning against an early game champion like this Naz is here. Your early game items should be a Sheen and a Hextech Revolver, giving you decent damage and sustain. Once you are level 6 and get your ult passive, you can employ the auto-auto die strategy for amazing harass. You'll then want to work up to your Lich Bane, Luden's Echo, and CDR boots. Here's your core build. All you have to do now is jump on people's heads until you have enough gold for Rabadons, Void Staff, and Gunblade, in that order. Let's go over some more interesting facts. Gunblade's active satisfies the ability damage requirement from Luden's Echo, giving it an extra punch. Since Jax's ult gives MR based on his AP, playing this build against an AP comp is hilariously strong. Look at the damage you take from Azir with it off. And here's the damage with it on. And lastly, this build can easily be played in the jungle by simply switching out Lich Bane with Rune Glaive. I call this strategy, tell your duo to pretend to AFK so that Annie walks forward and we one-shot her. Very classic, very fresh. Thanks again to my sponsor, WowSoSellout.com. I can finally afford the solid gold gaming mouse that I don't just want, but need. Godspeed. Professor Milk, Oh.